When you think of November, what do you think of? I'm sure you think of Turkey, I'm sure you think of Thanksgiving, I'm sure you think of all of the things except for what the topic of this video is, Indigenous Peoples. November is Indigenous Peoples Month and a lot of people forget about that. So let's talk about some ways that as Spanish teachers we can incorporate Indigenous voices and affirm Indigenous voices in the foreign language classroom. So I'm about to lay out these themes, but if you're interested in already made, pre-packaged, laced up, lessened Pear Decks presentations that are already done for you that have all these themes and more incorporated, such as music, dance, they have photos, they have all sorts of stuff, web quests, lots of just intriguing and engaging material for students, then go down into my description box and check out the links from my TPT store because I have stuff that's already made and buttoned up for you so you don't have to do any work whatsoever except for assign the assignment. All right, so um, I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that, that that is an option too because I know teachers are busy because I'm a teacher and I'm busy. All right, so uh, don't feel like you have the pressure of making something new. Um, why reinvent the wheel when the wheel is made? All right, everything's editable too. All right, on with the video. One interesting topic that you might wanna explore with your students is um, indigenous peoples of Latin America. I think that students often forget that there are indigenous peoples in Latin America. And in fact, as of 2010 census, there were 45 million approximately um, indigenous peoples of Latin America. And so, um, this is, this is not a, a small group. And then it varies by country. So some countries have much larger uh, population density than um, of indigenous peoples than others. And so the influence is much richer uh, than some other countries. And there's some beautiful graphs out there. Some of them I captured in my resources that um, I talked about a few seconds ago. But um, some of the graphs online that you can grab are just wonderful in showing students uh, the richness of indigenous culture in Latin America just by numbers. Uh, also, one thing that I would point out that I talked to with some, um, with some um, friends of mine is that uh, does this number include mestizos? Does this number include mixed race people? Um, I don't know. I don't know if this number includes people who are um, of mixed parentage or mixed race or... So the number of indigenous peoples might be much higher than 45 uh, million. It might actually be more. The first, first Thanksgiving so explorer Pedro Menendez de Aviles. Okay, so he came to Florida and was so thankful that he made it okay. <laughs> that he had a mass Thanksgiving in 1565. And this predates the pilgrims, which I believe was 1620, I think. Um, and it predates them and he had a mass Thanksgiving with the local Native Americans, the Timu Timuacan, Timuquans, Timuquans, um, the local Native Americans and um, he, they broke bread together and they had a peaceful uh, Thanksgiving feast. Um, they call it a, a Thanksgiving mass. And so for some reason in our history books, we don't learn about this first, first Thanksgiving, which is sometimes what historians call the first, first Thanksgiving. And I think that's kind of cool to talk about because it blends not only Native American indigenous voices, 
but it blends Spanish in the classroom. And so I think that's kind of cool to talk about. Um, I have this in my resources as well. I dig into this much more. And so if you want to dig, in it, dig into it too, make sure you check out some of my resources, which are linked below. And of course, I believe that it is every teacher's duty to teach their students about the encounters between, um, or at least the first encounters between the indigenous peoples and Europeans. I am not sure what students are learning, but I don't know uh, if they are learning this at all. Um, I am afraid that they are learning kind of like a glorified version of what happened but what happened was pretty mm, traumatic um what happened to the indigenous peoples um of the caribbean the taino people which were the first peoples that encountered columbus um was pretty intense and so i think that talking about that and um not casting blame just talking about it is important and i think one fact that my students walked away with like they could not they couldn't forget was that the taino people were the most populous native american indigenous peoples in the caribbean when columbus arrived and within 50 years, they were on the brink of extinction. And now, there are people consider them extinct. I mean, I've seen videos where people talk about them as, you know, that they're not extinct, um, but I think that they're considered extinct. Um, so, but their culture, language, etc., lives on, especially in Puerto Rico. And so, um, if you if you um, have Puerto Rican friends, uh, they uh, a lot of times really identify with Taino culture. And so, um, I just think that it's very important for students to learn about this. I hope that these themes were useful for your class. I hope that you learned something new. And as always, please like if the video. If you like the video, subscribe. Please, I have a goal where I'm trying to get to the magic thousand. And um, as always, I just am so thankful for all of you who watch this video and or watch these videos. And I just really um, do this because I want to promote um, social justice themes and I really want to promote what um, things that I see going right in the classroom and I want to spread it so that other teachers um, can do it too. All right. Un beso. Mwah. Ciao. Adios. Bye.